Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about Carbon Dioxide CO2 Injection System for Water Treatment Plant. What is CO2? Carbon Dioxide CO2 Property how CO2 is produced. How CO2 extraction from boiler systems. How CO2 is transported. CO2 dosing system. Why do we adjust pH with CO2 injection? Replacing chemical treatments of sulfuric acid with carbon dioxide for water treatment. Chemical properties. Carbon dioxide does not support combustion. When dissolved in water, carbonic acid, H2CO3, is formed. Carbon dioxide plus water carbonic acid. Carbon dioxide, CO2. Property. Carbon dioxide is also known as carbonic anhydride, CO2 and carbonic gas. It is non-flammable, colorless and has a spicy taste. In gaseous form, carbon dioxide is heavier than air forming a layer of dangerous gas in an enclosed atmosphere at ground level. Tank must be stored in well-ventilated place at temperatures below 50 degrees Celsius. In liquid form, carbon dioxide is refrigerated under its own saturation pressure. It is stored in a pressurized tank at between 8 and 20 bar and a temperature of between minus 43 degrees Celsius and minus 17 degrees Celsius. Solid state, dry ice, the expansion of liquid CO2 to atmospheric pressure is used to produce CO2 snow at a temperature of minus 78 .5 degrees Celsius. Compressed carbon dioxide snow forms carbon dioxide ice. Carbon dioxide contributes to the greenhouse effect. Avoid discharge into the atmosphere large quantities. How CO2 is produced? CO2 is produced from the combustion of coal or hydrocarbons the fermentation of alcohols, the production of anhydrous ammonia, byproduct of other chemical processes, CO2 extraction from boiler systems. CO2 extraction from boiler systems, CO2 extraction plants are based on importing flue gas from boilers fired with various fossil fuels such as coal, diesel oil, heavy fuel oil, kerosene, natural gas, LPG or LNG. Flue gas from boiler exhaust systems will have a CO2 content is directed to a flue gas scrubber, in which the gas is cooled and water condensed. After cooling and scrubbing, the gas is led via an exhauster through an absorber then CO2 absorbs from the flue gas. Carbon dioxide, CO2, transportation, CO2 is transported, stored and handled in liquid form either at ambient temperature in cylinders or non-insulated storage tanks at a pressure of 45 to 65 bar, or refrigerated in insulated tankers and storage tanks at temperatures between minus 35 degrees Celsius and minus 15 degrees Celsius and pressures of 12 to 25 bar. 
how the pH is reduced in the water. When CO2 injected in the water stream carbonic acid is formed which brings the water's pH down, the amount of carbon dioxide, CO2, in solution also determines the pH of the water. Lowering pH means increasing CO2. Raising pH means reducing CO2. CO2 Injection System for Water Treatment CO2 gas injection in permeate water for seawater RO plant to control pH. When CO2 gas is injected directly into a water stream, once absorbed, the gas produces carbonic acid that reacts with and neutralizes the alkalis present in the water thus reducing pH. Efficiency of the CO2 gas depends on many factors such as water chemistry, injection design, water depth, and physical conditions at the injection point. Injecting CO2 gas directly into the permeate stream will cause a slow chemical reaction of lime and CO2 leading into calcium carbonate precipitation. Lime milk is required for pH control of the product water. The precise lime dose, together with the CO2 dose, will be estimated by the laboratory to control the pH and the LSI of the product water. CO2 from two vertical vacuum insulated liquid storage tanks with this temperature is maintained with help of refrigerant cooling units, is passed to the vaporizing units which help to drop under the given critical temperature. Then CO2 is injected to product flow line. The control panel will control the flow of CO2 dosing with help of control valve accounting to required pH which is measured by pH sensor. Cryogenic storage tank Cryogenic tanks are used for the storage of cryogenic liquids. Cryogenic liquids are typically liquefied gases at minus 78 degrees Celsius or lower. Cryogenic storage tanks installed with a capacity of 10 tons each. The inner vessel is made of stainless steel compliant with food applications. The vessel shall be vacuum insulated in order to reduce at minimum the friggery's losses. Each tank has a refrigeration unit with standby unit for cooling the gas phase and reduces CO2 vaporization. Two transmitters are installed on storage tank. The one transmitter is installed on the tank and send 4 to 20 mA level and pressure signals to SCADA system. The second transmitter sends 4 to 20 mA level signals to remote logistics system to initiate tank fill delivery upon reading low liquid level in the tank. CO2 Vaporizing System Vaporizing System SCID contains Ambient Atmosphere Vaporizers Automatic Switchover System Cold Embrittlement Protection System The Cold Embrittlement Protection System consists in a continuous monitoring of gas temperature downstream the CO2 vaporizing units via PT100 temperature sensors. When the gas temperature drops below a preset value, the running vaporizing line is interrupted and the standby vaporizing unit is forced to operate. The automatic switchover consists in an electronic timer for auto changeover. 
the automatic switchover system can be forced to manual operation. The cold embrittlement protection system consists in a continuous monitoring of gas temperature downstream the CO2 vaporizing units via PT100 temperature sensors. When the gas temperature drops below a preset value, the running vaporizing line is interrupted and the standby vaporizing unit is forced to operate. If both CO2 lines downstream the vaporizing units drop under the given critical temperature, the delivery of CO2 is completely interrupted in order to avoid any risk of liquid CO2 pass through to the downstream devices. CO2 Control Panel a 4 to 20 mA signal shall be received from analyzer pH to control panel. This signal shall allow the regulating control valve to proportionally open or close in order to achieve the required pH. Chemical Replacement Managing pH with carbon dioxide in place of sulfuric acid Innovative solution study in progress for replacing chemical treatments of sulfuric acid with carbon dioxide for water treatment. Carbon dioxide in replacement of sulfuric acid dosing to control the pH of water treatment. Sulfuric acid dosing can be extremely expensive treatments. Using carbon dioxide resolve the risk, safety issue, and cost of using sulfuric acid. Thank you for watching this video.